The EFC just made a submission to the Status of Women Committee, which is studying violence against girls and young women in Canada. Over the last several years, as we have researched, consulted, and networked broadly on prostitution and human trafficking, we realize that these issues are part of a tangled web, a web that includes pornography. You just can't dig very deeply into any one of these areas without bumping into the others. They are all interconnected. Pornography fuels the demand for paid sex, and therefore exploitation. But more than that, there's a wealth of research that shows some serious public health impacts associated with pornography, especially internet porn. Among these are the links between the use of internet porn and sexual violence, especially when it's viewed at younger ages. How viewing violent, degrading porn shapes and influences what youth, both boys and girls, see as acceptable sexual behaviors and attitudes. Pornography today has become far more violent and degrading than it was in the past. What's now mainstream in pornography is aggressive, violent, and dehumanizing sexual activity. The themes of dominating and humiliating women are common, and much of what is out there is steeped in hatred for women. And never before has it been so readily accessible to children or to adults. The internet feeds it into our homes and to our mobile devices, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, in ever more violent and degrading forms. Today, pornography is actually more difficult to avoid than it is to access. But what it teaches about relationships and sexuality is dishonest, inaccurate, and harmful. It teaches that sex is detached from intimacy, love, mutuality, or respect, that it's impersonal and adversarial. So much of what is available at the click of a mouse teaches that violence in sex is normal and desirable. In our submission, we argue that any study of the kind of violence faced by young women and girls today must look at how the messages and lessons of widespread, accessible, free pornography online are contributing. We're asking that the federal government study the public health impact of pornography and to take measures to restrict its harms, especially to children. To learn more, visit www.theefc.ca slash pornography resources.